Ashley Cole, could you just... Could you not? For a second. Ashley Cole just got charged with misconduct by the FA for tweeting that they were, excuse my French, a bunch of t Now, I kind of agree with him, but that's not the point, Ashley. They're the governing body of football in this country. You might not want to call them t in public. Just an idea. This is the latest in a series of whoopsies by Ashley Cole. First of all, he messed around Cheryl Cole, and the public was like, What? You can't do that, Cheryl! She's... Nice, but she got back together with him, so it was okay. Then he messed her around again and she divorced him. Then he shot a kid in the face with an air rifle, and I wish I was kidding. And now this. I don't know if I'll ever recover from this. I will. Like, tomorrow. Now he's facing a ban and or a fine, and it's a shame because he's a fantastic footballer. He's on 98 caps, and over the next couple of weeks he was going to hit 100 appearances for England. That's sensational. Only the sixth guy in history to do it, and he was maybe going to captain the side. Now he's likely going to have to wait till spring to hit 100, and he may never captain the country. And that is a shame, because he's one of the best defenders in Europe. He's just silly. I really think they need to go on, like, a course in responsible tweeting. So they go on this course, and they're taught how to think before they tweet. It could save them all a lot of money. On to the weekend's action. The first game I want to talk about is United versus Newcastle. It was fantastic. United are looking so threatening in the first 15 minutes they dominated Newcastle. United won 3-0. Tom Cleverley scored a goal that made literally no sense whatsoever. YouTube it. Just search Tom Cleverley goal against Newcastle, which was very good, because it was. He had no right to score a goal like that, really. He was sort of just standing outside the box and he, and he hoofed the ball and somehow it ended up in the net. I scored a goal like that once. On FIFA. Spurs are playing well, and I always get a kick at the fact they've got a player called Corker. Because it sounds like the commentator is not commentating on who's got the ball, he's commentating on the previous pass. Defoe. Lennon. Corker. The ball's gone wide. It's looping in for a cross. Corker. Goal! It just sounds ridiculous. It's such a little thing, but it gets me every time. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Corker having a child. Chelsea Norwich was a thriller. Norwich created a lot of chances for themselves. They were looking really good and against a lesser team they probably would have taken the spoils in that match but Chelsea were just too good. Chelsea are in such good form right now and when they've got Oscar and Mata and Hazard, Torres, Lampard all linking up together and making some beautiful football they are on fire. One question are they going to be able to keep it up as the season continues? Last week my match pick was Wigan versus Everton. I wanted to see if Everton could carry on their winning ways. The answer was not quite. They came from behind to draw two all but they were still very impressive, as were Wigan actually on the day, which was a nice surprise. That's it from me, there's no Premier League football next week because of the international break, let's hope that England can pull something sensational out of the bag against San Marino and Poland. If they do, I will praise them as gods, if they don't, I will bully them mercilessly from the safety of my living room, knowing that they can't get to me behind this screen. <laughs> They're a lot bigger than me, this is the only way I can do it. I could never walk up to one of them and go, oi, you didn't play very well. Can you sign this? Till next week, I'm Daniel J. Layton vlogging for GoreBlimeyPosters.com Bye for now, go on Miles. Head over to the GB Posters, they sell posters and other things, uh, and it's good, so good.